All right, guys, the protege is all buttoned up and put together um, using a heck of a lot of zip ties. Radiators held in with these big zip ties right here and these little ones around here and that one. Uh, but it's in the brackets on the bottom, so it should be good to go. You got a new air filter on there. Everything's pretty buttoned up. Uh, the two remaining big tasks are going to be the front end alignment, which I don't know if you can really see that, but the toe is way off. Uh, on the left hand side there and then the actual exhaust uh, as you can see it looks like someone cut that at one point I, I don't know why they didn't think that flange was doing them any justice or anything like that but I don't know what I'm thinking is is I'm almost thinking about just getting a little flex pipe cutting her right there and just uh, doing a clamp on flex pipe right there I got the O2 sensor sitting in there just because this pipe isn't technically for this car, so I'm going to get a plug for it, but the O2 sensor is back there. Uh, that's unhooked as well, just because the cat's actually not hooked up, so I don't want to do anything to fuck with the engine and make it think something's incredibly wrong, so I'd rather just keep it unplugged for the time being. Um, yeah, everything else is good. We've got a little bit of an oil leak as well uh, coming out here, but it's not terrible. Like I think I lost um, about a quart in a month, which to me is acceptable uh, for a winter beater that this is gonna be. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. Um, here, I'll fire it up in just a minute and show you what she sounds like. radiator radiator hose is actually keeping it um, about 15 degrees cooler than the stock one uh, so that's definitely really good because I was kind of worried about the smaller capacity but being aluminum uh, it seems to have made a big difference so that's pretty awesome uh, threw a new battery in there as well uh, the old one was just pretty tired it's about five six years old um, we're good to go so I mean other than that I think that I should change this brake fluid just because I mean that is dirty dog status right there like that's just disgusting and then uh, on the pretty and I have to get these brackets up here as well um, but I mean that's nothing that's super important so yeah 